my dear friends, beekeepers, and um, other people who's following me along this journey with the bees, I want to pass on to you a few thoughts which are relevant for the day. I'm gonna turn the camera to myself, have a little talk and uh, we'll see how it goes. I would think that you can see me uh, not having the screen I can't really control that so I've turned the f because I've turned the phone to myself I have a plan these days for the coronavirus I'm not in the mood to make jokes I just want to make a point I was uh, two days ago I went to Bunnings which is the largest hardware store in Australia and uh, it was the last pack of face masks I could get for one of the jobs I had to perform in uh, sending a lot of woodwork and I was shocked to see that people would do that, would clean up the shelves of the, such a store, buying face masks, being afraid of this virus. Well, I have a mask. Uh, I don't want to pretend that uh, this mask will help me uh, to not get the virus but I want to share with you something else which I believe that it will help me now I'm a beekeeper as you know it I keep bees few here few there and few other animals around the house a disturbed rooster which uh, is giving out to me for some reason uh, let's move on as a beekeeper I look after the bees and they look after me and my passion and appreciation of them it's truly truly deep when I see the work and I see what they produce it just blesses me so much now this is my plan for the coronavirus uh, it is said and we all know that uh, we have to lead by example and uh, I don't have sugar in the house that I consume uh, since I have the bees, I do consume the honey. Uh, in my opinion, there is no comparison to it. Bees are not only giving us the honey, but few other things. I have talked to you before about propolis. Propolis, there's few dubs of propolis. Doesn't look particularly appetizing. Oh, the smell. Oh. oh. The smell. And in particular when I have a problem and I have a stomach pain or a belly ache or and I take like a size of a pea of propolis if you don't want to chew it, just swallow it with water. It's very, very bitter in taste. And if you want, you can chew it with honey. And I have here something else. These are cappings. This doesn't look appetizing as well. 
cappings. These come from the very top when we scrape off the cappings or shave off the, the cappings to enable the honey to come out of the cell when we spin the frame into the extractor. But this is common sense. What's on the top there, it's very valuable. Like we all know our moms making gems and then what forms on the tap, on the top of the jar, it's something that it seals, it keeps, you know, that air won't go into it to spoil it. And bees have the wisdom to put on the top of the cell something which is very valuable and I do not throw it away. Now I have the mask and I won't attempt to take a teaspoon full of the cappings but you can chew on that and you can swallow it. It's extremely beneficial for you. Um, this has been my experience and I, I'm not making a joke saying that but if it comes to it that there is no food in the shop. You could not starve if you have one or few hives in your backyard. There is so much the bees are giving you that you could basically leave off that for a long time. Uh, honey is so complex. It has a lot of minerals and a lot of vitamins and I really enjoy that I have a chance to keep peace and uh, this is a relationship I it's getting stronger and stronger by the day and especially here in Australia we are blessed to have such a clean environment and not having some of the disease like European or well we, we have some European fowl brood and American fowl brood here and there, but we don't have the varroa mite, which is such, such, such a problem for the bees worldwide. Well, I would leave you with these thoughts, and I thought this might uh, be beneficial for you. We all can build ourselves our immune system, eating properly, drinking properly, and then we have less to worry when problems are coming. Until next time, God bless you.